Good morning, folks. After more than a week of solar flaring, mostly in B range, we're seeing an uptick now, with Mars less than 24 hours from perfect solar conjunction. We've seen surface surges in CMEs, one of which we expect to impact any moment. Also got a big filament incoming on the north. CME impact will be tracked at spaceweathernews.com, but let's go to our checks. Solar flaring with some moderate pops, including one that did hit M range. Caused minor radio blackout effects, but nothing more. We could see the uptick continue with a strongly developed group exiting top right. And now we will have chances for magnetic mixing where the groups are colliding on the north, where the lone large umbra down south develops minions around him, and the one incoming down south looks nasty as well. Another just to the north of that too. Meanwhile, the CME impact would be very easily noticeable with all solar wind telemetry data dropping to calmer levels. The CME will light it up along with the sensitive flux and possibly the KP index. Interestingly, we still see some surface charging and now even a bit of internal charging in the satellite environment. This isn't anywhere near scary levels, but it is a combination of the integration of the magnetic storm energy into the system while the electron flux has soared since then and is pushing radiation storm levels if it goes a bit higher. Coronal hole. We saw a brief uptick in seismicity, but it has been quiet since then. It entered with strong force, seen in red, and actually he had a little friend backing him up there, but then the friend vanished and so did all the force. This was caused by open coronal magnetic fields slamming shut, simultaneously closing the door on major quake factors. With Mars conjoining the Sun, the earthquake watch just sits in minor to moderate range now. Top stories include Hubble detecting a stratosphere on an exoplanet. Stratosphere is a vital layer for modulating space energy. It is a necessary interface for friendly ground level conditions. Video and article linked for you below. Anyone who saw the Alaska buoy go off, don't panic, it is a 3 centimeter deviation only. Some quick website updates here. The direct to SO link is now up top in the home menu. Got to log in first, obviously. Below that are our free resources, followed by the membership login, sign up, and premium content in general. There have been new articles added to the Earth Changes files and a couple new deeper looks. Last night's delivers big picture understanding and dives into some minutia. 54 episodes in 2015 so far. By tomorrow, we should know how bad the cyclone was at Oman. It is hitting now. In the eastern Pacific, Carlos running up a tab at the energy bar, hoping he takes the westernmost route. Folks, the rapid scan mission is almost complete for now. They have another planned in August, but they are wrapping up their final video publications for this round. I cannot wait to spin this into the Earth Spot discussion because it so, so belongs there. Blues Clues style here, folks. Hello, Heartbeat. The rest is easy. I'll be showing you low pressure cells and convergence lines where air masses meet. That's where we find the clouds, that's where we find the precipitable water. That's where the storm alerts always kick off. Check local listings, folks, as we've got severe alerts on every continent tonight. Got the current conditions and shots of our star to close. Deeper looks, new earth changes files, and tomorrow is fly on the wall. It's 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.